Paul McFarland, congratulations on being the Outstanding Young Alumni Award recipient. Thank you. Paul, can you uh, tell us a little bit about what you're currently doing and your plans for the future? Yeah, currently I uh, actually have a dual role as general manager and head coach with the Kingston Frontenacs uh, in the Ontario Hockey League. And uh, obviously uh, I've uh, had a number of different great opportunities over the last uh, few years and uh, hopefully going to use that experience uh, to help develop our program here in Kingston uh, to hopefully develop our people, players, and uh, become one of the best uh, junior programs in the CHL. What attracted you to Acadia in the first place? Yeah, there's quite a few things, uh, to be honest. I think uh, first first of all, uh, I think Darren, Darren Burns, who's the head coach uh, of the Acadia hockey team, deserves uh, all the credit in the world uh, for, I guess, bringing me to Acadia. I know I uh, uh, I met Darren uh, in Windsor, Ontario in December, the year prior to me showing up to Acadia. And uh, he was really the first one to uh, explain what Acadia was all about. And uh, he did an outstanding job of talking about, um, obviously, the, the university experience, but more importantly, the people uh, that are within it. And uh, from there, uh, you start to do your homework uh, on the university and understand, you know, the huge advantages of having small class class sizes, your ability to create to grow uh, great relationships with your professors. Uh, and then, you know, I went for a visit, to be quite honest, and uh, coming in uh, to Wolfville for the first time, uh, never actually been to Nova Scotia uh, at that stage, um, you know, being a Toronto kid, big city guy, uh, really fell in love with the place and uh, knew that uh, there was really nowhere, nowhere else uh, that I could go uh, that would give me this type of experience to go to university. And uh, I couldn't have made a better decision uh, if I come to Acadia. Paul, is there anyone you met on campus who ended up being really particularly influential um, in your career and your life choices? Well, I think there's a, there's a number of people that had a huge influence on me while I was at Acadia. Uh, I think there's some professors like uh, Dr. Ian Hutchinson, uh, Professor Pat Corkum, uh, President Ray Ivany, and the number of great conversations we had just really about life in, in general uh, while, while being a student there at Acadia. And then obviously, last but not least, the uh, uh, my teammates, friendships that I've made along the way and, and how they've influenced me and helped me grow as a person and uh, the Acadia Hockey Program. I think Darren Burns, who I've already spoke of, uh, had a huge influence uh, on me going to Acadia, but also the opportunity that I received while being there, uh, not just uh, as a student, but also the opportunity to be involved uh, in the community of Acadia and, and I guess the Annapolis Valley for that matter, uh, whether it be uh, going on the ice for minor hockey practices to teach young children, uh, players like Drake Batherson. Uh, I think uh, for us also going to uh, the SMILE program, uh, going to the Gasparo Valley uh, Public School to volunteer, I think all those uh, experiences helped shape me into the person I am today and also influenced my passion for teaching, quite honestly. And uh, that passion for teaching obviously has led uh, to coaching and, and being all involved in hockey at a number of different levels. And I think that was really instilled in me during my four years at Acadia. What's your fondest memory from your Acadia experience? That's a loaded question. I was engaged on uh, campus, so I'll state that off the start just so uh, <laughs> I don't get any trouble today. But uh, I think uh, as well, as well, I think my fondest memory uh, was uh, more than anything, uh, just the number of different experiences we have over there. It's probably tough to pinpoint one thing. Uh, but there were so many great hockey games that we were a part of uh, as a team. Uh, I think, uh, you know, whether it be uh, tubing down the Gasparo River, uh, graduation re weekend, um, hockey crawl. I think there's a lot of great experiences that I have with my time there. And uh, they're all great memories, not because of the, the memories themselves, but obviously the people that you meet uh, from that experience and still great relationships that I have to this day. Paul, what does it mean to you to have won this award, the Outstanding Young Alumni Award? Yeah, it's a huge honor. I know uh, a lot of people that I've gone to, to school with, obviously, at Acadia, have gone on to do some, some great things. And to be honored in this way uh, amongst that group uh, is truly special for myself and my family. And uh, I know, uh, like, like anybody, I think uh, I've had great support from my wife, Kelly, who's an Acadia alumni as well, and then our two children. And uh, obviously, for all of them, I think it's a more that we share together um, just because they've had to make as many sacrifices as I've had through this process uh, since graduating at Acadia. And uh, we're truly honored to uh, obviously have this award. Um, Paul, the Alumni Association gives out a number of awards each year including uh, this one that you're the recipient of. Why do you think it's important for the Alumni Association to recognize members of the Acadia community? 
Well, I just think it's important to recognize that there's, like I said, there's so many great people uh, that are doing so many great things, whether it's in business, uh, medicine. Uh, I know one of my best friends, Blair Jarrett, who I met at Acadia, uh, has currently gone on to go to med school. He's a doctor uh, living in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. And as we all know, uh, the frontline workers uh, today are uh, probably as, as big a heroes as there are anyone in the world right now. So, uh, you know, I think a big credit goes to, to our alumni and people like that that have gone on to do uh, so many great things uh, because of their experience at Acadia and uh, the education that they received uh, while being here. So I think it's important to recognize those people and everything that they've uh, been able to accomplish and uh, how that experience of Acadia has influenced uh, them to, to today to where they're at. Paul, uh, you were a student athlete at Acadia. You've been a coach at the professional level. Um, what do you think is the value of sport in developing discipline and leadership skills and and how those lessons are applied every day in, in uh, people's lives? Well, I think it's everything. At the end of the day, I know uh, and what, what, I, what I'm doing currently, obviously, we're trying to, uh, you know, help develop uh, people and players. And ultimately, if you develop the people first, uh, I think, think the player side goes hand in hand. And, and for all of our players at, in Kingston, and I think, obviously, through the university experience uh, playing, you know, both uh, academics and, and obviously the game of hockey at Acadia, uh, I think the life skills that you gain are critical, whether it be, you know, your work habits, um, you know, being on a team, understanding your role on the team and, and how you help the team be successful, uh, having a common goal, right, and working towards something that everyone's uh, pulling in the same direction towards. Uh, life skills like t time management. Uh, I think uh, when I look back at my time at Acadia, you know, trying to balance, uh, you know, full course load, uh, obviously spending a lot of time uh, within the community, uh, volunteering, and as well, I think uh, playing playing hockey, uh, there's a lot going on. Being able to prioritize your time properly uh, and, and make sure that you're doing your best in all those areas uh, at an efficient level, uh, something that I gained from my experience of being a student athlete. And uh, because of that experience, I think you're that much more prepared um, to do everything you're doing in your life uh, currently. So uh, there's a lot of great lessons uh, that go along with being an athlete. In my opinion, a lot of great leadership skills that are gained. Uh, I do believe that leadership is something that's developed. And uh, the more you're in those uh, experiences, the more that you're able to go through different challenges, adversity, uh, those are all going to be experiences that are going to make you better. Thanks very much, Paul. Appreciate your time today. And uh, congratulations again on being awarded the Outstanding Young Alumni at Acadia. Thank you very much. Go Acadia.